Explain like I'm five or DJs actually adjusting or mixing the songs when they are on stage. Having G'd for a couple of years. It can be as simple or as infinitely complex as you want to make it. Nobody has mentioned hip-hop DJs and turntablism yet. Which is fair because the question is almost certainly going to be about dance music DJs and such. Like but if you want to see DJs truly creating new music using decks and records you can look at. Old school hip-hop. Original stuff where they would be cutting and looping beats from disco tracks. And at things like the DMX World Championships although these are more technical show-offs than necessarily that musical. A good DJ. Yes. Beat matching requires you to listen to two songs at once. And be able to adjust the speed of one or both to match. Then bring the second song into the first. You can never let the beat stop until the night is over. Are DJs actually adjusting or mixing the songs when they are on stage? A good DJ will read the crowd and adjust the mix accordingly. Also, if they accept requests, they have to mix on the fly. Yes, a real DJ's job is to find hidden gem tracks and mix them live in a way that flows and keeps the vibe level. And this is not nearly as easy as it sounds. A fake DJ will pre-record a set and dance like a clown to the set acting as a hype man. Anyone with half a brain in the DJ community will recognize this and know they ain't got shit. True DJing can be just as complex as playing an instrument. And there is really no ceiling to skill level involved. Dude I saw DJ Swamp maybe 20 years ago at a rave in the middle of nowhere Wisconsin. It was like fourth backup location hundreds of miles away and a different state so only like 50 people max showed up. Swamp killed it broke a record scratching too hard. Oh I lost a pair of sunglasses I loves that night too lol. EDM DJs typically do but your average wedding DJ. Not so much. People who produce their own music tend to be more creative during performance in terms of the beats. The headphones are a giveaway. No headphones. No DJing mixing. On the other side. Wearing headphones isn't a proof you are not J just playing a track list. Depends. More often DJ is mixed with master of ceremony. This means they're less concerned with live music and more concerned with volume. Pacing. Rough housing. Requests. Overwatch. People forget a great show isn't just doing the show it is the stage hands supporting people's. Ability to enjoy the show. I don't think this is an explain like I'm five question because you aren't explaining how anything works. But to bite it depends. Some are likely just pretending and adjusting levels to look like they are. Some are actually mixing tracks and so they are listening to the impending track. Adjusting aspects of the levels to make the transition seamless. I also think DJ can be a catch-all term and so I would say some people are actually making music. Live on stage. They can have Ableton or another DAW setup and have one or more controllers where they are actually making music live on stage. I'm sure Affix Twin just turns up and presses. It is quite a strange experience to pay to see listen to a lauded artist and all they do is walk on stage. Don some headphones and look like they are fixing something for 70 minutes. Shrug then walk off. A good DJ is but most DJs like Tiesto just push play on an iPod. Plus most have a playlist ready that they coordinated and set up for the night. For a laugh. Remember that David Guetta cancelled a world tour after losing a USB key that contains the entire set or playlist as we call it. I always thought they are pretending to fiddle with dials as if their hands are as busy as a real musician. I miss the old days where it was vinyl only and there was a lot of pressure and you really got to hear who had the technical skills not just the best records. My brother is a professional DJ. 
And when he's working in clubs he absolutely does all kinds of mixing. I used to manage a 1000 Pax music venue. Some DJs do fuck all. To be fair, they were mostly low-cost DJs to fill time before and after the main act plays. Transitioning into new songs. Yes. But most just touch the knobbies to look cool. They are DJs they mix and blend music to entertain us that is their job. They are like musicians but not really they are just playing recordings. How they do that is up to the individual like musicians you have good ones and then. Depends. Some put on a track and make it look like they do something between transitions. Some actually mix live on stage. Usually very easy to notice what has already been pre-mixed because live transitions don't usually sound as clean as pre-made sets. You talking about Dr. Dre sort of DJ or that one in the club in your local strip mall. The formal mix and scratch and is legit. The other wiggle to a SoundCloud rapper's mistake. I think he's mostly retired from touring now. Sadly. But DJ Crush from Japan I've seen twice live and it was incredible almost delicate what he does in the live setting. For pure turntablism a la DJ Swamp. I'd highly recommend the 2001 documentary Scratch. Had a favorite DJ for years. Went to a lot of his shows. The last time I saw him. He was literally swapping CDs out of a player. Honestly thought expected most DJs just try to look like they are busy doing something when in fact. They have nothing to do besides mix the upcoming song. It depends on the DJ. Show and scene. When I was in the UK. The DJs on the big stations would literally just play the songs back to back and talk in between. Here in Trinidad. The DJs on all the big stations mix the tracks live. Scratch over the top. Play their own mashups. And it's generally a more live experience. The DJ doing a performance in a festival show big party. Absolutely yes. The DJ at your local shithole bar. Absolutely not. He's playing songs off of YouTube or Spotify. When you DJ sometimes you get lucky and create something new out of a couple songs. I once made a house remix of It's Begging to Look a Lot Like Christmas on the Fly and No One Knew. This song literally never existed and it will never exist again because I forgot what house beat I used. If you do a good job they won't know you did anything at all. All a DJ really does is take the songs you know and love and shits directly into your mouth. I was at a rave club in the 90s and witnessed a DJ being sacked and told never to return for playing a tape with last week's mix on it. I learned to mix when all a DJ had was two 1210s and an analog mixer. So yeah, you had to do it right or not at all. If they use vinyl they more than likely are. If they don't use vinyl they are a poser bitch. Side question as an audio guy who has had to set up a few decks before etc. I'm curious what the crossfader does when you're using more than two decks. Does it just flip between the left two decks and the right two if they're all playing at the same time for example? Or is it exclusively bound to the inner two channels on the mixer? I've been to a pretty well-known DJ for his set and there were no live elements. Just a giant mirror behind him so everyone could see what he was doing. The music was incredible. And the crowd legit clapped when he finished each song. He was working hard. I loved it. Haven't seen a DJ like that since. A lot of what a DJ does is less about creating a song and more about catering an experience. The crowd and venue is as much their instrument as the equipment in front of them. It totally depends. Even within the same DJ. In high production value shows. Everything is cues and or timecode MIDI triggers. Depending on how it is set up it'll have some elements of live and many pre-done bits. There could be whole sections of a set that are ad-lib too.